guys and today we're going to go ahead and um make a follow-up video because i need to show y'all what's actually going on with the satellite and stuff so first of all i'm going to show off every location that's going to have this satellite going to it so first of all i'll have the satellite going to here and now you're wondering where are you getting your, this tv service from just an antenna for now but like i'm going to have like a box in here and when I see this, I'm also going to have direct TV service in every room. Not direct TV, but also Dish Network. See, I don't know what the main provider is going to be yet, but this is going to be like a desk with a computer here. And maybe like just like a small 24 inch or 32 inch TV in here. And in here, I'll obviously in my room, once I get a nice, like big TV. Right now, I had to move the TV over here because of the glare from the sun. But I'll have the TV, like, right here again on, like, a TV stand with, like, the TV there. And then I'll have, like, Dish Network and Direct TV going here. Because what I really want to do is get Dish Network and Direct TV. Because I'm going to show you all that a lot of the vacant houses in this area have either Direct TV or Dish Network. So maybe, like... Obviously, I don't think that's a vacant house, but I was thinking, like, I can ask the people who own the trailer park, and I can go back by the um, vacant houses and just pull the satellites, their LMBs, and their switches, and their uh, splitters and all that, and I can just use that for this. And here, my grandpa has his little TV. Of course, I'm going to give him a bigger TV, get him a bigger TV, and then do it all nice and up for now, but for now, this is a temporary setup. But then I'll have, like, a um coax coming in from here since this is where he wants his tv also here's another example obviously people definitely live in this house but they also have a direct tv sat and a viasat satellite and a viasat and viasat is literally just internet we're not even gonna even get internet here because there's no point in it he doesn't use it so we're gonna focus on that later but let's go ahead and go out to where the satellite is now you may be asking oh how am i gonna mount any more satellites if i only have one pole well that's where i was went to thinking and i'm like okay well, i did notice some of the satellites are mounted onto the sides of the houses so then i could just probably like mount it on the side of the house at this point but i'm gonna go ahead and go over to the direct tv satellite and show the new news i found so i noticed this is all wired up correctly like everything here with the satellite there's nothing wrong with it it's not bent there's nothing but of course i don't think i went for this but here's that goes up under the house and i noticed when i went up under the house earlier today um there is a splitter down there still so that can be salvaged but all of this wiring is done for as i said in the last video it's all cut up or it's all water damaged this right here is from the cable company it's water damaged it can no longer be used plus they took out the um combining um splitters that basically combines all the cables together to make it to where they work but yeah like all the cables are like just cut up they're unusable here's one of the only good cables left and it's cut up as well so yeah and you can see this is where it comes out from up under the house i think this right here is direct tv or like a really old direct tv line because my house also had direct tv yeah so i can tell that's for cable and then this dual layered cables for direct tv because you can clearly see it all goes down here and see where it's cut so i think yeah the, all the direct tv wiring as well is done for now it still goes into the house but whoever renovated this house did a bad job of it and basically ruined all the wiring now i will go back to this cable area of wiring because it does also have hope for it and the reason i say that is because it can be reused for when I do dish network and stuff. It can actually hold all the wiring for me. So I can just reuse this and put um, in... I can just put in more diesel holders. And I can do like direct TV and dish network. I actually think this right here was for the direct TV. Actually no, this is for the cable because it says warning. Do not remove the ground wire. Should it become loose or need to be removed, contact local cable TV company. 
this orange wire is definitely from the cable company because as you can see it's in the ground that's not direct tv that's cable but this part right here is all cut up so that's that not much I can really do about that other than just talk about that part but yeah it's all done for the wiring's all ended I'm going to need to rewire everything but I do have like five or six direct TV boxes that I could just like plug in here and have hooked up since that satellite's aimed properly and everything I'll just like need to get the wiring done and everything and then boom we have direct TV sort of the only channels of it will be be able to be viewed on most of the boxes is the sample channel that's like says oh order direct tv service now or recontinue your service now on channel 100 so yeah but i do have one box i will say has free service well it doesn't have free service it's like sample service like you only get your local channels and that's it like you'll get your local channels but everything else says seven seven two, no it says seven two two please re resume your service so all of it is your locals it's not actually free service it's just like um sample service whatever direct he calls it it's like the box was like I don't know how to describe it, but it's not free service, it's sample service, but it'd be just enough for my grandpa anyway, so I could probably put it in here. It's an HR44, I think, and it allows me to view my locals, but I can't view anything else, so I'll put it like right here. You can just reuse this remote, which isn't programmed to anything other than the TV to turn it on and off, because power, as I said in the last video, power button do not work. But yeah, that's pretty much the future plans besides um, going over to this room in here and making it into an office. I don't know why the light is, I mean, the fan's turned off. It needs to be turned on. But yeah, other than that, it's perfect. The house is perfect for anything that needs to be done. I went over here, I might also end up putting a TV, but we do have a big enough TV over there already. So, I mean, I don't know. But yeah, that's it for today's video. So, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.